Or what if you did this in the middle, like, I'd love the brake light. Okay, one out of ten, how well do you think she did? Ten. <laughs> sure, I'll try. Oh, wait. No. Oh, it's already top of the car. It's a Supra! It's an R34. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Everything about today in this entire episode is going to be kind of revolving around one of the coolest guys that I've met in the car community here in Utah. Uh, his name, his movement, everything about him, it's called Traffic Heavy. If you're a little bit involved, uh, you'll kind of already know who this guy is. He's one of the coolest dudes around. Uh, he gave me a really awesome opportunity lately to kind of go with him. We did a little bit of a ride along. He has a black Audi RS7. Uh, it is literally one of the, the coolest cars. It's one of the best RS7 in the entire state of Utah, 100%. It is so kitted out. Uh, he's got some 22 inch tires on it. Um, he's going to be doing some more stuff. If a lot of you are kind of questioning exactly if you're in Utah and you kind of know this guy, he's got uh, like green LEDs and stuff running through that can change colors, but he mainly keeps them on green, you know, on the front. It's 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 in his headlights. It's, it's just mind boggling. Like this is one of the coolest RS7s. I think it does like a 3.4 to 3.50 to 60. This thing is really quick. I'd say it's really close to like an R8. It's just a four seater like it's crazy like it's it's one of the coolest cars ever anyway I'm just gonna be playing all the footage that I got from this ride along um, we did like a huge Audi me it was it was by far the coolest thing ever you know please subscribe I hope you guys like this video not gonna be a lot of me you know kind of doing uh, this kind of talking or whatever so yeah just enjoy this was it was awesome uh, yeah guys peace out look at that all right I'm like oh but I really don't want to get cold honestly the only place that's giving me trouble is there. I was on the city streets either way. Uh, yeah. So I don't tend to push my to turn on the other mode, right? Oh yeah. At a meet, that's definitely a plus. I still got that Fast and the Furious vibe with that green undercoat mode, so. Yeah, I, I definitely, I would love to lean into some of that, you know? Especially in how I drive my car, but then, you know, like, mortal peril and, you know, survivability and stuff like that eventually kick in where I'm like, I really don't want to die today. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'll end up just, you know, slowing down to a reasonable what? Uh, It's a 2020. <laughs> it's, a, it's a 2020 R8, yeah. I, yeah, like I said, I, I picked it up in, the first guy put on, like, I, like 800 miles on it first. Um, and then I did the, the custom rims. So I, I custom ordered some, some new rims to it. Um, I still have the originals for, like, resale, but... Yeah, I got my originals, too. And the red leather interior and... Uh, yeah, that, that's honestly why I picked this one, which is just really well option. I could have done a spider, but I didn't want to have to maintain a soft top, and I wanted, like, that red interior really badly. It looks way clean. So. It really does. But hey, whoever had it first, he had a clear bra on a window tint, so Dark. great. I didn't oh, have yeah. to do that. But I will tell you, I have driven a lot of BMWs, M5s, M8s, uh, M3s. This thing is just nuts. I, I was blown away. At, so I'm an Audi fanboy now for sure. For the most comfortable I've ever owned in terms of this class, I have a, uh, a white 570. Oh, this is spot book, yeah. Mm. It's just a, a pain because the moment I open it, it gets fogs up and then I gotta wipe, wipe it and stuff. It's disgusting. It also, funny enough, this only opens if the car's on. It opens if you turn on the car, which is the dumbest thing ever. I don't know because the frunk is totally fine. Wait, does the engine have to be running or just the ignition on? Engine has to be running for this guy. Frunk, totally fine. Engine has to be running at the back. I guess they want you to be wash the engine and whatever. I'm like, I have to turn the car on to wash it. It's like. Oh no, I don't. I don't have that. One second. Me, like, <laughs> I definitely did a full, like, full 180 on driving these cars because I, I had never driven one before and then Reese was like oh you need to look at some of the other ones and I can't believe I never looked at like RS3s before yeah oh my God, I would have yes. totally done an RS3 I can't. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah.